Hi friend, Marcus here with SpeakYourMindMethod.com. So in today's video, what I want to do is share with you the five rules that I followed that led me to overcome a stutter and become highly fluent. And these five rules will help you do the same. This isn't going to be a long intro. Instead, we're going to go ahead and jump right in and I'm going to show you these five rules that you need to know if you're trying to improve your speech. Rule number one for overcoming a stutter and becoming highly fluent in your life is you need to understand that success does not mean 100% cured. See, here's the thing. For the majority of people who struggle with stuttering and blocking, there are some brain deficiencies at play and there are some tendencies to stutter and block and to make those habits come to be. And that's true for me. It's not only that, oh, I have a stuttering habit that I need to overcome. That's Yes, that's part of it. But it does go all the way down into the tendencies of my brain. My brain and my the, the mechanics of speaking, there is a tendency for me to block up. And that's just hereditary. It runs in my family. It pops up here and there. You're like, I have a brother who struggled. I have an uncle, my great-grandfather. And so it not everybody... Of Not all of my relatives struggle with stuttering, but it does seem to pop up on occasion throughout my family. And so those are the cards that I've been dealt. But that doesn't mean that I'm therefore stuck with it just because that deficiency exists. Yes, it does exist. But what I've done in my own journey is I've made my own fluency habits so strong that they basically, they dominate, they overpower those blocking tendencies that I still have. And so, no, I am not 100% fluent, and you probably won't be either, but that's okay. And that's okay because that's not the point. See, here is the point of becoming fluent. Here is the point of overcoming stuttering and blocking. It is to get your speech to a place that it no longer keeps you from the life you want to live. That's the entire point. That's the entire goal of what I help clients and students to do. It's not about reaching 100%. So be sure that you internalize this rule, that you don't aim for some type of perfection. That's not going to happen. What you instead want to do is focus on, on excellence. You want to focus on making your speech so fluent that it no longer hinders you from your best life. So that's rule number one. You need to understand that success does not mean 100% cured. Rule number two for overcoming a stutter and becoming fluent is this. It is simply expand on the fluency you already have. If you are like most people who struggle with stuttering, you don't stutter on every word, right? You don't block on every word. There are words and there are sentences that you say completely fluently. You say those words completely fluently. And when you do that, you are proving to yourself that it's possible. When you do that, you are showing yourself that you possess fluency. Like you have the ability to do it. So then what you're trying to do in this process of improving your speech is not bring in some external cure or some magic wand because it doesn't exist, newsflash, but you don't need those mythical powers that don't actually exist. You don't need them because you already have fluency. So then the game becomes expanding it to its maximum place. That is all this process is. It's not like you're going from 0% fluency to 100% fluency. Because again, you don't stutter on every word. You don't block on every word. You are already somewhat fluent in your speech. You don't need to reinvent everything. You don't need to completely change your voice to where you're sounding all weird and sing songy everywhere you go. Like, no, no, no. You don't need to sound weird either. You simply need to expand on the fluency you already possess. All right. So that is rule number two. Expand on the fluency you already have. Now, rule number three for becoming fluent is this. Don't forget the yo-yo effect. Now, the yo-yo effect comes from the world of the stock market. And this is a visual 
for you to understand how the stock market works when you invest in it, okay? So what it is, is if you imagine a boy that is walking up a flight of stairs while playing with a yo-yo, it's all about what you're focusing on. Because if you only focus on the yo-yo, it's like it's up, it's down, it's up, it's down, it's up, it's down. Kind of like the stock market, right? Up, down, up, down, up, down. And so if that is what you're focusing on, on just the yo-yo, then you are, of course, going to feel discouraged and it's like, well, what's the point? But if you take a step back and you actually look at what's happening, you'll realize the boy has been walking up the stairs this entire time. So the yo-yo has not just been going up and down like this. It's been going up and down like this. And across time, it keeps going up and up and up. And that is what it is like with your speech. That is what it is like to improve your speech. You are going to have good days and you are going to have bad days. That's inevitable. This is not some linear path where today is always slightly better than yesterday. That's always a good goal to have and you experience that. But you are going to have really good days and then really bad days, just like the stock market. But that's okay because if you keep going, you are going to be like that boy who's playing with the yo-yo. And yes, it's good day. Yes, there's a good day. There's a bad day. There's a good day. There's a bad day. But if you take a step back and you keep pushing and you keep climbing, then over time, you will see the success that you are after. And everyone who doesn't adhere to this rule, it's pretty obvious what happens, right? You have a bad day and that discourages you, that depresses you, and then you throw in the towel and you're like, well, screw this. It's clearly not working. And then you stop doing the plan or you or you stop practicing or you stop trying to reach that next level of improvement. And then, of course, you're not going to get what you want. And so, so much of becoming fluent, of becoming excellent in your speech is perspective. You need to be patient. You need to be diligent. You have to let go of this fantasy of some quick fix. It doesn't exist. You need to take a long-term approach and you need to be able to weather the storms of the ups and the downs. You're going to have good days. You're going to have bad days. But in the midst of all that, don't forget the yo-yo effect. All right. So that's rule number three. Now, rules four and five that I'm going to share with you here are directly connected to some type of plan. So I'm kind of assuming that you have a plan of some kind that you can follow. Now, I'm not even saying you have to follow my plan. Just find a good plan or you you need a good plan to follow with your speech. Just like if you're trying to, to elevate your fitness or your diet, it's really hard to truly reach the success that you want in anything if you don't have some sort of structure or system in place, okay? And if you want that type of structure and system, I have a free workshop. It's called my Stop Stuttering Workshop, okay? So I'll leave a link to that in the description below. If you wanna go check that out, that is going to give you this plan that I'm talking about here for rules four and five, okay? So I'll talk more about this at the end of the video, but just know that I have a free workshop. It's over 45 minutes in length, and it gives you that step-by-step -step plan. It helps you understand exactly what the process looks like, and you'll get some really valuable tools and insights along the way as you dive into the workshop, okay? So let's wrap up this video with the last two rules. Rule number four is treat your plan like a professional. In James Clear's book, Atomic Habits, which is the number one book that I recommend to my students, he has a quote in there that goes like this, professionals stick to the schedule, amateurs let life get in the way. So again, the rule here is treat your plan like a professional. If you can't find the time to practice your speech, then I'm sorry, but you're, you're not prioritizing it enough. Sure, maybe your life really is crazy. Maybe you're so busy. And I understand that. I'm really busy too. But you can find the time to do it if you truly value the goal of becoming fluent. 
And sure, maybe this means that you can't always do a full 45 minute routine or an hour long routine, but you can squeeze in 10 or 20 minutes. You can do it. And you know you can do it because if you've ever had any priority in your life that you've been passionate about, you've always made time for it. Whether that is raising your kid, if you have kids, whether that is your hobby, like going skiing or snowboarding or biking or just doing things that you really enjoy doing that you're passionate about, you always make time for the things that you prioritize. And so at the end of the day, I know we're all busy, but if you really want this, if you really want to become fluent, then you need to take a professional approach to this. Your mindset needs to be like that of a professional. Again, as James Clear says, professionals stick to the schedule and amateurs let life get in the way. So this is your choice. Are you going to be a professional or are you going to be an amateur that that lets all the other things in your life squeeze it away? This is the choice. You can make time for it. That's what I did. I was very busy. I had a full-time job when I first started a plan to try to become better at speaking. I had a full-time job and I love making music. I was I, I was spending a bunch of time recording music at that time and playing instruments. And there was a phase where I committed. I was like, "You know what? I'm going to put music not I'm not going to stop playing, but I'm just going to put it in the back seat for a bit. And I'm going to commit the next few months to my speech is going to be the main thing." that I'm going to focus on. And so you can do that too. To whatever degree that is, you can find a way to make time for it. All right, so that is rule number four. And finally, to wrap up the five rules that you need to follow if you want to overcome stuttering and blocking and become highly fluent, the last rule is this. Trust the process. Play the long game. Let me just be straight up with you here. If you want a quick fix solution... I'm not the right coach for you. Look, go, there are plenty of websites online that, that will try to sell you and market to you this quick fix approach of like, hey, in three days, you can overcome stuttering or in a week or something ridiculous like that. You can either choose to go down that path of the quick fix, which quick fixes are a myth, so you're not going to see the results that you want, or you can take the long-term approach. You can take the approach that actually works with your brain. That's what we're doing here. We are negotiating with our brain. We are coming to grips with the reality of how the brain works. And look, the brain is not going to change your speech habits in three days, in a week, and it hardly ever happens in three weeks. This is going to take multiple months of committed effort. And if that offends you or bothers you or turns you off, then you are not valuing the goal of fluency enough. If you really want it, if you really meditate on the value of how many positive benefits you would get from becoming highly fluent, if you actually really think about that, then a couple months or a few months, that is nothing compared to the value of fluent speech that's waiting for you on the other side. Again, we need to work with our brains. Your brain does not change habits overnight. It changes, but it takes time. It takes effort. It takes exertion. And see, here's the danger. This is the real danger of going for some quick fix strategy. The danger in that is that yes, you might actually see some short-term success right off the bat. And that's because of things like the placebo effect. You start to feel positive. You start to feel optimism about where you're going. You start to believe that you can do it. And then in the short term, you'll experience the positive results and you'll start to speak more fluently sometimes. This happens to people. But the foundation is not nearly strong enough. And as soon as your brain inevitably reverts back to its comfort, its place or to the habits that it has indulged in for many years before, 
then you will come crashing right back down to where you were and possibly even below where you were because now you feel like you tried and you failed. You feel like things are worse now. And that is the danger of the short-term approach. It's really demoralizing to be in that place. But then on the other side of that, here's the beauty of the long-term approach. The beauty of the long-term approach, the beauty of trusting the process and playing the long game is that when you get the results over a multiple month period, those results usually last a lifetime. And that's because the foundation is strong. You don't, you're not going to just immediately revert back to your old habits. You might still have bad days. I still have bad days from time to time. But the truth is, if you trust the process, if you play the long game and you keep moving towards that goal of speech excellence over a multiple month period, then that fluency that you achieve is likely to last the rest of your life. All right. So that's, that's the trade off. You can either take the short term approach and come crashing down after perhaps yes, a spike of fluency, or you can take the long term approach and play the, the long term game and experience that fluency for the rest of your life. So the choice is yours. So there you go, my friend. Those are the five rules for overcoming a stutter and becoming fluent. Now, again, if you want to dive deeper into my method, if you want to get a plan, a step-by-step -step system in place, then you should go watch my free Stop Stuttering workshop. This is a 45 plus minute training, a video workshop that walks you through the ins and outs of stuttering and how to overcome it and what the process actually looks like. You'll also get a daily routine, a plan, a system in place to follow. And again, I will leave a link to that free workshop in the description below. So be sure to go check that out before you click away. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you in another one real soon.